What is the best album you have ever listened to? London Calling by The Clash. It's my favorite album of all time, and I'm not even a punk fan. It's full of amazing songs that have great storytelling and incredible music that spans many genres. It's a famous album but also severely underrated IMHO. Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here doesn't get enough love. Dark Side is a classic, no doubt, but WYWH is a masterpiece. Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral. Death Cab for Cutie, Transatlanticism. OK Computer. Dark Side of the Moon. Talk about one that has stood the test of time. Favorite Worst Nightmare, Arctic Monkeys. El Camino. The Black Keys I can listen to the whole thing from beginning to end, no song is bad. Literally a work of art. Abbey Road by the Beatles. Radiohead. The Benz. Marvin Gaye What's Going On. Elton John Yellow Brick Road. Songs in the Key of Life, Stevie Wonder. Kind of Blue, Miles Davis. I don't care what type of music you like. Dot put this on, sit back, close your eyes and you'll see why this is the greatest album. I'm a Zeppelin. Stone's music type but Kind of Blue takes you to another place. The Beatles, White Album. Radiohead. In Rainbow's Titus Andronicus. The Monitor Alt-J. An awesome wave, thank you very much. Enslaved. Utgard Cores. Wisdom of Centuries Death. The Sound of Perseverance Beyond Creation. Algorithm Gojira. From Mars to Sirius Slayer. Show No Mercy Metallica. Master of Puppets Opeth. Watershed Author and Punisher. Beastland Static X. Wisconsin Death Trip Mashuga. Destroy a Race Improve Arcturus. Arcturian Borknagar. True North Devon Townsend. Deconstruction Behemoth. The Satanist Dimu Borgir. Spiritual Black Dimensions in Flames. Horacle. The Earth is Not a Cold Dead Place. Explosions in the Sky. Steely Dan. Asia. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Yeah, that album meant a lot to me. I loved her so much as part of the Fugees. So a solo effort would be even more badass, right? The first time I heard it, I was maybe 15 years old or so, but then I re-listened to it about 10 years later. Right around the time I experienced my first real heartbreak, and every song she sang made that much more sense. To this day, this is the album that had the biggest impact on me. Nas. Illmatic. Zeppelin 4. Thriller by Michael Jackson. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. Metropolis PT. 2. Scenes from a Memory. Porcupine Tree, Fear of a Blank Planet. Crime of the Century Supertramp doesn't have to be the greatest ever I think it's 30-odd minutes that any one person has time to enjoy. Master of Puppets. Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Nevermind by Nirvana. Meteora by Linkin Park. Maybe it's the Velvet Underground and Nico Sunday Morning. Heroin, Venus in Furs, Run Run Run, All Tomorrow's Parties. Art. To Pimp a Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar. Texas Flood, Stevie Ray Vaughan. 10 by Pearl Jam. Cake Fashion Nugget Alanis Morissette Jagged Little Pill Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon Pepper Kona Town Rage Against the Machine Rage Against the Machine Dave Matthews and Tim Reynolds Live at Luther College Matchbox 20 Yourself or Someone Like You Blink 182 Blink 182 No FX The Decline Unknown Pleasures by Joy Division Smiley Face Talking Heads Remain in Light Illinois by Sufjan Stevens Blue Joni Mitchell. My four favorite ever are U2 at Tongue Baby, Arcade Fire, Funeral, Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream, Nin, The Downward Spiral. The Heroin Diaries, 6. AM Operation Live Crime, Queensryche 2112 Rush Image and Words, Dream Theater Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd Joe's Garage, Frank Zappa Toy Matinee, Toy Matinee Lemon Parade, Tonic. The Doors, self-titled first record, unedited. Temple of the Dog, self-titled. Amazing vocals. Great songs all around. 
and some of those songs really got me through some rough times. This was pure grunge at its finest, especially with Chris Cornell and Eddie Vedder vocals. Plastic Beach by the Gorillas. Every song is good. Some are at the top of their popularity list as well. It was a turning point for the band, especially after the very ominous and sometimes dark and religious feeling from Demon Days. The theme and real-world relations were not only sad by true. Fantastic. <laughs> Rumors. Fleetwood Mac. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Kanye The Miseducation of Lauren Hill Blonde Frank Ocean. Probably number one, Man on the Moon. Deloused in Comatorium, Mars Volta. Muse. Absolution. Good Apollo I'm Burning Star IV. Volume 1 from Fear Through the Eyes of Madness by Coheed and Cambria. It's a bit weird and don't try to understand much of the lyrics but damn I love it so much. 15 years later and I still listen to it regularly. Currents by Tame Impala. Kevin Parker is a musical genius. The fact that he composed every part, instrument of every song blows my mind. His lyrics are great too. Bat out of hell. Ride the lightning and use your illusion. Best is too objective, but my favorite album is Pieces of a Man by Gil Scott Heron. He was a real one. Nimrod by Green Day. It perfectly captures their 90s punk sound while also having some really incredible, grown-up songwriting. Bowie Ziggy Stardust. Might not be the best album ever, but definitely the album I needed to hear most at the time. The Strokes is this it this album came out at a time in my life when I was discovering bands like Led Zeppelin, The Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd. I looked to modern music for inspiration and I saw Coldplay, Travis, Limp Biscuits. it felt like rock was dead. Then I opened Napster and after reading a good review of the album in a random magazine, on a whim I began to download NYC Cops by The Strokes. This was a two-hour process. So once 20 seconds of the song was downloaded I pressed play for a sneak preview. I was blown away. Instantly. It was exactly what I wanted to hear. I bought the album the next week. And that same album was part of a resurgence of rock music in the coming years with the likes of The White Stripes, The Libertines and Early Kings of Leon. Rust in Peace. Pink Floyd The Wall Kendrick Lamar TPAB Radiohead Either Kid A or In Rainbows or possibly a moon-shaped pool. Frank Zappa chic your booty Frank Ocean Blonde Frank Sinatra in the wee small hours of the morning the weekend after hours MF Doom um food Bob Dylan blood on the tracks Joni Mitchell Blue Kanye either TLOP or MBDTF Smashing Pumpkins Melancholy 2 Pack Me Against the World J. Cole Forest Hills Alice in Chains Jar of Flies Springsteen Born to Run Danny Brown XXX David Bowie either Ziggy Stardust or Blackstar The Doors Celt titled Gregory Allen Isakov This Empty Northern Hemisphere Janelle Monet Electric Lady Jay-Z. The Black Album John Lennon Plastic Ono Band Judas Priest Sad Wings of Destiny Zeppelin Hoth Lou Reed Berlin Neutral Milk Hotel Aeroplane Over the Sea Phoebe Bridgers Punisher Patti Smith Horses Pixies Doolittle The Smiths Queen As Dead Snail Male Lush Stevie Wonder Songs In the Key of Life Talking Heads Remain in Light Tyler. The Creator Igor Velvet Underground Self-Titled. Plus Nico. Weezer Pinkerton The Who Quadrophenia Yes Close to the Edge Honestly. These are in no order though I did have to pull out Spotify to list some of these. The Benz, Radiohead. Back in Black, ACDC. Computerwit by Kraftwerk. Reconciled by The Call Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen Fables of the Reconstruction by REML Camino by The Black Keys. Harvest Moon by Neil Young Slaps Harder Than My Mom. Dark Side of the Moon. Beating Joshua Tree by U2, by a nose. The first time I listened to DSOTM the entire way through was the summer after my senior year of high school. I bought the CD at Media Play and took a drive. High 70s that night with a nice soft breeze, top off of my Jeep and I decided to take the really long back way home through mostly rural areas. It was such a great first listen. Mushroom plus Pink Floyd's Animals. Revolver. The Beatles. In no particular order. Beatles Revolver, Abbey Road Pink Floyd Dark Side, Animals, Wall Elton John Goodbye YBR, Madman Across the Water, Honky Chateau The Decembrists The Hazards of Love, The Crane Wife, 
Castaways and Cutouts Led Zeppelin Any and All Anything by Elbow and Calexico. S&M by Metallica. Cattle Decapitation Death Atlas. Probably Animals by Pink Floyd. Anima by Tool. Rock for Light by Bad Brains. Dirt by Alice in Chains. Blood Sugar Sex Magic by RHCP. Or The Who Live at Leeds. Dummy. Portishead. The Last Stand by Sabaton. 10,000 Days. 10,000 Days. The Moon and Antarctica. Regional at best but if I'm honest I say that about literally every top album so yeah. yeah. Innuendo. Queen. Paranoid Best Metal Album Ever. Torches by Foster the People. If you take off one song. Kid Cudi Man on the Moon. End of Day. Paul Simon. Graceland. Thanks for watching. See you later.